everybody! Hey Queen, guess what? What, Cadence? Do you know what we're gonna learn about today? No clue what? Snakes! Pythons? And bananacondas? Do you mean pythons? And anacondas? Maybe I should learn more about snakes. Let's learn about snakes! <laughs> nice one, Quinn. Anyway, snakes are reptiles that are found mostly in warmer and tropical regions of the world. Snakes cannot live and survive in places where the ground stays frozen all year. And this is why you won't find any snakes north of the Arctic Circle or in Antarctica. Snakes live almost everywhere, in deserts, forests, oceans, streams, and lakes, except very cold places like Antarctica. And believe it or not, some islands like Ireland as well as New Zealand do not even have any snakes at all in the wild. Snakes are what are called cold-blooded reptiles. And reptiles are cold-blooded animals that raise their body temperature by lying in the sun or lowering it by crawling inside into the shade. This group also includes crocodiles, lizards, and turtles. Cold-blooded reptiles like snakes rely on the heat from the sun as well as their surroundings to help control the temperature of their bodies. Their body temperature changes to the temperature of its surroundings. And because of this, some snakes that do live in colder climates but not cold all year round must hibernate through the winter. And these snakes will look for and find burrows or caves and then fall into a deep sleep until the weather becomes warm enough for them. Kind of like a bear that hibernates for the winter. Hey, guess what? Did you know that there are around 3,000 different kinds of snakes? That's right, Quinn, and snakes can live on the ground as well as in trees and even in the water. So now we know that snakes are reptiles that have long, flexible bodies. But what about their skin? Great question, Cadence. Well, many people believe that a snake has oily, wet skin, but snake skin is actually smooth and dry. See, snakes are covered in scales, and these scales are made up of keratin. Keratin is the same thing our fingernails are made of and our toenails are made of. See, snakes come in a wide variety of different colors and patterns. And poisonous or venomous snakes tend to be brightly colored. And these bright colors are used as a warning to potential predators. They have no arms or legs and snakes come in a variety of sizes. Snakes that live in the water tend to be long and flat, while those that live in trees are long and thin with a tail they can use to clasp onto a branch. And snakes that burrow in the ground tend to be a bit shorter and also more compact. Snakes don't have eyelids to cover their eyes. True story, Quinn. They actually have a transparent scale that protects their eyes. And snakes are actually deaf to airborne sounds. They actually hear by picking up vibrations with their jaw bones. And did you know of 3,000 snakes, only about 10 to 12% or so are venomous. And in the United States, there are only 126 different kinds of snakes out of 3,000 in the entire world. Only 19 of those 126 are harmful to people. And did you know that even though most snakes have teeth, not all snakes have fangs? In fact, the only snakes with fangs are the poisonous ones. And these fangs are sharp, long, hollow or grooved teeth that connect to a small sac in the snake's head that are actually behind the snake's eyes. And these sacs produce a poisonous liquid 
This liquid is called venom. When a snake bites, their venom is released. The venom starts to work immediately to either kill or paralyze their prey. And since the venom will work almost immediately, some snakes will hold onto its prey in its mouth until it stops struggling and the snake can start to eat and swallow it. Other snakes will bite and then release the animal so that it does not get hurt when the animal struggles and then slowly dies. These snakes will actually use their tongue to smell and follow the victim until it dies and can be eaten safely. Some snakes can have really long fangs. And these fangs will actually fold back into the mouth so the snake doesn't bite itself. And did you know that if one of these snakes loses or breaks a thing, it will grow a new one to replace it. And in a lot of different countries, venomous snakes are caught and their venom is milked from their fangs. This venom is then used to create a medicine called anti-venom. Anti-venom is used to save the lives of people that are bitten by poisonous snakes. And snakes will keep producing their venom for as long as they are alive. And like I said earlier in this video, many snakes come in a lot of different colors and textures, and there's a good reason for this. For example, some non-poisonous snakes are also brightly colored, like their poisonous cousins. And these snakes look like this so that their potential predators will be fooled and they'll leave them alone, even though those snakes are not venomous. And of course, with 3,000 different kinds of snakes, they can come in all different sizes, depending on the type of snake. Some snakes are only a few inches long, but an anaconda can easily grow to be over 30 feet in length and weigh two to 300 pounds. And then there is also the Brahmini blind snake, which is just two inches long. This is the smallest snake in the world. Hey, did you know that snakes have bones? That's right. They do have bones, like us humans, but quite a bit different. See, a snake's backbone is made up of many vertebrae attached to its ribs. And to give you an example of how different we are as humans to snakes, well, us humans have approximately 33 vertebrae and 24 ribs. But snakes have between 2 to 400 vertebrae and 200 to 400 ribs attached. And that's what makes a snake so flexible. Did you know that the throat of a snake takes up the front one-third of its entire body? That's a fact, Cadence. In fact, the throat leads to a really long stomach which, like their throat, can stretch to the size of whatever the snake is eating. And snakes also have two long lungs, a long liver, kidneys, and intestines. And these bones and strong muscles help protect the internal organs of a snake. The last quarter of the snake has a small anal opening. Yep, snakes do have a butt. They have to poop too. And snakes are carnivores, which means that they will only eat meat, including other snakes. And when it comes to eating, some snakes are hunters, while others lie waiting to ambush prey that does not see or hear the snake. Snakes can be very sneaky. These snakes will try to trick their victims into coming to them. Did you know that a snake will only eat when it's hungry? And that may mean that some snakes will eat every three or four days. Some will eat once a week and some only once a month. In fact, some snakes that do not move very much like snakes that are kept in zoos, may only eat a few times a year. Most snakes live off of insects, birds, eggs, 
fish, rodents, frogs, lizards, and other small mammals. But the largest snakes, pythons and anacondas, they've been known to eat animals like deer and even pigs. Now you may be thinking, a whole pig? How can a snake swallow a, such a big meal without even chewing? That's actually a great question, Quinn. See, snakes have powerful, strong muscles all along the beginning half of their bodies. And snakes will use these muscles for moving as well as swallowing. They use these muscles to move the food down along the throat and into the snake's long stomach. Did you know that the jaws of the snakes are not fused together. And this means that unlike our jaws, snake jaws are not connected at the back of their mouths. And this is what makes it possible for them to eat very big meals. For example, that would be like if you try and swallow a whole watermelon without chewing. Now think about this. If your mouth was full of a full watermelon, do you think you could breathe? Hey, guess what? Snakes can breathe! Yes, they can. Snakes actually have a little tube near the bottom of their mouth. And this tube comes out far enough to get air when the rest of their mouth is full and they can't take a breath. Snakes will reproduce or give birth once a year to every three years. When the babies hatch a few weeks later, they will be on their own to hunt for food. And did you know that snakes get brand new skins every once in a while? So they're usually very, very clean. See, every few months, snakes start rubbing against the ground or tree branches. And they start at the mouth and then a snake slithers out of its too tight skin. This process is called molting. Well, that's it for this video. What did you think? Snakes, they're pretty cool, right? Yes. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button We'll see you on the next Hey Guess What. Boom! Ba -ba 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 -ba